Um, they're not really overly tough. At least I don't think they are. I don't know. Maybe you might think they are. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use these Pokemon here, Quagsire being a team member. Um, and I'm just trying to like give some Pokemon some screen time. I wish Quagsire admittedly had surfed for this battle. These Colosseum battles, I will say straight up, they are a fantastic way to get your heart gauges down. Just simply because, well, I don't really have to be any more specific. You're going to be doing a lot of battling, and that's kind of the best way to lower heart gauges unless you want to just walk around for hours at a time because you don't feel like battling. It's okay, I've been there. But yeah. Uh, anyway, though. Let's see here. So I think I'm going to keep Mistrevious in, well... Its heart gauge is kind of high, admittedly, and I kind of want to open its other moves, though, so no, I think I will actually call it. Alright. So we lower its heart gauge, and what do we got here? Quagsire, come on, finish it up. Okay. Oh, what? What? Okay. I have no complaints with stupid AI, but that was kind of weird, admittedly. Both of them attack Mistrevious with a normal-type move, even though it's ghost-type. Oh, the joys of having the only ghost type in all of Coliseum. Yeah, it probably isn't tailored to deal with it too well. Okay. And My god! Is this really going to be a thing? Okay. Let's actually figure this out. I want to know, like... It's going to be an often thing, isn't it? Where I'm going to try to use a move and it's always going to be in hyper mode every single turn. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, because this is allowing me to lower the heart gauge of a Pokemon and kind of demonstrating, like, how pure... Or how, um getting a Pokemon's heart gauge down is actually done, but still, it just... This is gonna be frustrating as all get out if it just keeps doing this. <laughs> Alright, come on. Scratch. It attacked Mistrevis again! <laughs> okay! A admittedly, this is kinda making me want to use Mistrevis. <laughs> I don't know, uh, Mistrevis is one of my more favorite Pokemon looks-wise. I don't know, maybe I'll think about it a bit. Who knows? Anyway. Mistrevis finally gets to attack. It doesn't KO Sandshrew. Sandshrew used Poison Sting. What's it gonna hit? Quagsire. It actually poisoned Quagsire. That's not good. Uh, for those that don't know, Poison will gradually lower your HP over time. Uh, every turn you take a little bit of damage. In this game, um, and also uh, in earlier Pokemon games, this being one of them, it will lower your uh, HP as you're walking around in the field. Luckily, though, we're in a Coliseum challenge, so we're in a two and Meta Met Metatite. I almost said Meta Knight. It actually does kind of sound like Meta Knight now that I think about it. Um, I think I should mention, though, even though these battles um, in Coliseums are a big part of the game, you are not ever going to find Shadow Pokemon inside of Coliseum. There is some unused content that does suggest Shadow Pokemon in Coliseums, though. I'll be getting into that a bit later. Uh, I don't really think it's a good idea to, like, talk about that quite now, because it's a bit of a spoiler, but... Anyway. We... Okay, we're getting hidden power right there. Didn't do much damage. And, of course, Mistrevious isn't going to get to attack once again. I I'm really wondering that. Okay, so we've had that happen three times already. This is the fourth. In the course of four battles, let's see how often this actually happens. Let's see. So, we'll do Shadow Rush one more time. We'll take out that Natu. We do that. Let's see. So we're going to get pecked. I, I will say, though, this game is very battle-heavy, which I think as it goes on, it might get tougher and tougher to commentate just because of, like, how many battles we're going to be in. But then again, to be fair, in Pokemon games, I'll actually kind of admit something. I, I actually tend to have more to talk about in the battles, though, because in the field, I'm kind of like, okay, we'll go over here, and there's an item hidden over here. And, you know, this game doesn't even have hidden items. I mean, heck, we haven't even seen an item just in the field yet. I know, it's kind of weird, though, but we haven't. Uh, we're going to use Shadow Rush once again, and I will say this. Uh, Mysterious' Confuse Ray would actually be kind of helpful. I don't have a Pokemon that... Well, actually, no, that's, that's not entirely true. Never mind, I do. Um, let's see, what do we got? Confusion on Quaxire. I don't know what it is, though, but, like, Mysterious is getting off scot-free quite a bit. It's not really doing much in these battles, yet they don't really seem to be just taking it out, even though it'd be quite easy to chip down its HP. Like, what kind of Pokemon he's got? He's got Electric and Cacnea. That, okay, the Cacnea kind of sucks for Quagsire, so I think that should be our top priority right there. I don't know if I should switch out Quagsire or not. Basically, what I'm trying to do is there's a certain move that Quagsire has, which you guys should know from its bio. I'm trying to get Sir um, on Quagsire, and... No, I want to attack Cacnea, not that. Okay, uh, let's do Slam, actually. I haven't gotten to do Slam yet. Basically, I'm trying to get... it. Oh, this looks cool. Look at that! It looks so cool, but... I'm trying to get Surf unlocked on Quagsire because Surf is great to have! Oh my god, that's five times now. 
And of course, the three battles we have had that happen five times, my luck is just ridiculous. Of course, I'm like, I'm gonna use Mistreavus. I'm gonna try to give, you know, a Pokemon that I wasn't necessarily planning on using some screen time, but no. Yeah. Uh, of course, the game will not ever have that. Uh, we'll do Shadow Rush, I suppose, just to see if we can finish off Cacnea. Mistreavus' heart gauge goes down. Now, Quagsire, you're not gonna get to go first. Right. Ooh, Hal, okay. I will take not taking damage, even though it's gonna raise your attack. What do we got? Okay, good. It's getting to go before Cacnea. I, I wasn't really paying too much attention to the turn order, admittedly, so there we go. Critical hit. And there we go. Take out Cacnea. And Vulpix. Can I please get Surf? Like, I swear to you that... Okay, it's because I probably have a more unlucky nature, though, on my Quagsire, though, but still. I've had previous playthroughs, like, where I got... Um, where I got, what was I think? I got Surf a lot quicker than this, like where upon entering the Coliseum, I got Surf, so admittedly I'm probably having some not very good luck. And of course, Mistrevis. Mistrevis has like not even gotten to hit this whole Coliseum challenge. Everyone attacks it with stuff that doesn't affect it. And I get paralyzed. Of course, as soon as I say that it doesn't get hit by anything, I get paralyzed. <sighs> Getting kind of rage filled in this Coliseum just because I'm having a bit of a frustrating challenge for how easy of a place this is supposed to be. Uh, come on, Shadow Rush, come on, Slam. Okay. And click it. Again! It doesn't affect Mistrevis! You think after the f first 12 times you tried that, you would learn that it doesn't do anything? <laughs> oh my god, I, I like this AI quite a bit, actually. It's, it's actually kind of. Uh, this is like the third time I've said this in this video, and I apologize I'm getting a bit redundant with my commentary, but it's actually kind of making me want to use Mistrevis. I mean, I know I already grabbed a Pokemon in the battle square, but... And actually, watch this. Watch. I'm going to unlock Surf in this battle. When it's a battle where both Pokemon are going to resist it, I'm going to freaking unlock it. Just watch. Alright, Mistrevis, go ahead and attack Bagon, and... I didn't unlock it! Yay! I'm actually glad I didn't unlock it. Thank God. Okay, Mistrevis, go on. I know that Mistrevis, uh, some people might be yelling at me in the comments for not pronouncing it Mistrevis. Thing is, it's had two official pronunci- Really, Goldine? Really, Bagon? That would have been super effective on- I uh, remember Vite got changed to a dark type move in Gen 2. It's no longer, uh, it's no longer a normal type move. How stupid are these computer players? I mean, I know that they're computer players, so I shouldn't be that surprised, but still. This is kind of funny. And again, they're no they don't attack Mistrevis. Headbutt. Okay, it's actually going to attack quite- okay. But still, every trainer in this whole s challenge has attacked Mistrevis as something that it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's actually- I thought it was kind of funny at first, though, but it's just, it's happening with such consistency! <laughs> See, as soon as I say it! <laughs> oh my god! This is, this is amazing! Like, I would, I know Mistrevis is kind of lacking in the stats department, but I think it's more than makes up for it in the being ghost-typed it with stupid AI department. <laughs> okay, seriously, let's, um... Uh, attack Goldine, I suppose. Don't really have much else of a choice. I suppose I could uh, get. I suppose I could get. Oh, come on. I suppose I could get a uh, Quilava out here to take care of that. Um, that Magnemite. Oh, screw you, Goldine. That is a slap in the face. When I'm trying to unlock Surf, you freaking use it on me. And hey, thanks. You healed my Quagsire. So the one time they actually attack Miss Dreavis, is like that would do damage. They heal my Quagsire. Um, okay, there they actually attack Miss Dreavis. Come on. Oh, come on! Can I actually hit something in this battle? Let's call Ms. Drevis. Let's... You slam again. Come on. Alright. Now, can I actually freaking do something this turn? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they can't do anything this turn. Nobody got to even attack! My god! How long of a battle is this gonna be? And <laughs> okay, I'm finding this way funnier than I should. 
This isn't- this is getting kind of ridiculous. I just want to actually progress in this fight. You know, maybe a little bit, that'd be kind of nice. Oh my god, and okay, at least it's attacking Quagsire time. Sonic Boom is a bit of a unique move. It always does 20 damage. You might think it's kind of crappy though, but early in most Pokemon games, it's actually kind of good to have back when stuff doesn't have much HP, and that's really all the damage I do. Really? I... Oh, you just call on Mistrevious. Uh, Shadow Rush, maybe? I could do that on Magnemite as well. Let's do that. Okay. If I can KO freaking Goldeen, I would switch out to Quilava and have it take care of stuff. And what do you know, the AI is actually not that dumb for once. What do we got? Metal noise. Or metal sound, not metal noise. Let's see. Shadow Rush, come on. Can okay. Since when is Goldeen such an, uh, such an amazing tank? I don't understand it. Let's just... Kit Quilava out there, please. Let's use Shadow Rush. Let's take out Goldeen. <laughs> this final round is taking so much longer than it should, and for no really good reason at all. I was going to try to avoid using Quilava because I wanted to showcase some other Pokemon and what they can do. Had a lot of stupid stuff happening in it so far, but still, it's just... I don't know. Uh, Delibird right there. I am kind of amazed that somebody in the finals is using a Delibird, because Delibird is, actually, is downright one of the worst Pokemon that's ever been introduced. Um, in terms of stats and usability. I'm going to use Dig right here because I want to take advantage of that quad weakness on Magnemite. Even though it looks like Magnemite is flying, it actually is not on a um, type effectiveness level. So let's do that. Go ahead and use Shadow Rush. Boom! Okay. Uh, let's hope we can win the battle on this turn. If Delibird actually KOs my Quagsire after I just called it like a terrible. <laughs> okay, that's actually quite rare. Um, Present has a chance of healing the opponent as opposed to damaging them, and I got the random chance for that. I'll put on screen what the chances of that happening is, though, but. Okay, this has been quite possibly the stupidest final round in a tournament I have ever seen. I I'm glad I had this on recording, to be perfectly honest. Mork. Right, I'm back with the, lady, with the challenge champion. Present our lucky winner with a shadow Pokemon and watch Chaos Unleashed. F you, F you, F you. Nice one. Our new champ is quite the appealing charmer. It makes a nice change from the parade of Macho Muscle. Wait, this isn't happening. This guy, he's that West guy that Mirror B's been carrying on about. What? Same guy that messed with us in Fenac City? Gah! I didn't know that when I let him in here. I'll boot you back out. And now we actually know what these guys are called. They are a criminal syndicate known as Cypher. They are not Team Snagum, but Cypher. I love their battle theme. Cypher's battle theme is one of the coolest battle themes I think in the series. I like how it's got like this techno beat thing going on, but like it sounds very futuristic and it fits the style of Colosseum quite well, you know. Hey, kind of have like this very almost post-apocalyptic, dark future type style to it. I mean, I know Fenex City is peaceful and all, though, but not nearly all the game is like that, and I like that feel to it. And I finally have Surf! Yes! Okay. Oh, my God. I finally can use Surf! I have been battling for, like, the past, like, 20 minutes of video so I can... Stop going into fever mode! God! No, not fever mode, but... Hyper mode! Bleah! Can't talk. And, of course, now that I actually use Surf, it doesn't do crap for damage. Uh, Yanma, anyway, though, is a Shadow Pokemon. I should bring it up. It is kind of frail. Um, unfortunately, Yanma does not really evolve in this game. It evolves in later installments of the Pokemon series, and if it did, I would highly recommend it. Yanma, being a bug-flying type, has quite a few weaknesses as well. However, its main draw is the fact that it has speed boost for its ability. The fact that you gain speed at the end of every turn can make it a bit of an appealing choice, especially in a game with limited options. So if you're looking for something kind of fast and you like the ability of speed boost on Ninjask, granted, um, Yanma will not do the same job as Ninjask, you know, being kind of the sword dance user. But, you know, it's still decent enough. If you, uh, like, if you want to have a bug type, um, it's available pretty early on, and speed boost is always a nice ability. Um... It could potentially have compound eyes also for its ability, but I would recommend picking up one with speed boost more so than compound eyes, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, anyway, though, 
Uh, how about we avoid any chance of Distrevious going into hyper mode this turn and try to catch that Yanma? All right, Yanma, we caught you. You're going in the PC. I'm probably not going to use you. It's going to send out Surskit, and how about we just finish this off? Come on. I will admit these battles are a bit longer than I remember. Now that I'm actually having to talk through them, I didn't realize they were going to be quite this long. I mean, I did practice commentary before doing this course, because I always like to make sure that... The thing is, that's one thing that I kind of have um, against the idea of doing day one content when a game first comes out, is just that, like, unless it's a game that's like a sequel, and it's like a very samey sequel to something that you've already played and liked, how would you know, A, if you even like the game, and B, if it's something that you can even commentate? Because, like... There's been times where like I've wanted to let's play something and I actually tried commentating it and I really struggled to find stuff to talk about or find entertaining things to point out. And it's just I don't know. That's just kind of something that I don't really understand. Is the the, the concept of doing day one content doesn't make that much sense to me because it's just like how would you know if you even like commentating it? And it's just like I hear people saying like you know like well maybe I was excited for the game maybe that's why I'm recording on day one though. But you can be excited for a game and not record it. I mean, I know this is kind of a foreign concept to people who haven't been playing video games since before the YouTube days, but hey, that's just kind of one thing I never got. And hey, I restored HP! I'm really glad I picked up Water Absorb now. I'm getting the feeling that... <laughs> we couldn't get through this video without yet another case of Miss Dreavis getting attacked by something that does zero damage to it. Of course. So we take out Ninkata. Let's use Shadow Rush on Surskit. Let's use Shadow Rush on Surskit. Let's get hit by quick. <laughs> okay, it's official. I want to use Mysterious now. This video has been one great big sign that this whole LP is going to just be hilarious AI after hilarious AI if I use the only ghost type in the game. So, you know what? I was going to wait a little while to reveal this, but yeah, Mysterious is going to be the next member of my team. No surprise how you managed to win the tournament. All right, Nor, you're done here. It's useless. I don't stand a chance of winning. Now hold on. You're the one who brought him here. <laughs> they ran out. <laughs>